Go. Ryan and Gail here with Manny and little Ava. We're gonna do a quick video of posting the ears. There's a lot of different ways of doing it. We use the tampon method. It seems to work best. As you've seen, we've had a lot of Dobermans and we've posted a lot of ears and tried all the different uh, techniques out there. This seems to be the best and most efficient way. Here's uh, one post already made up. And I'm gonna do one right real quick for you. These are regular cardboard tampons. And as their ears get bigger, you might want to go to the, what they call super. Push the cotton out. That's what's good about these. They already have the cotton in there, so you don't have to add it on. Pull it out. If it's too long, you'll cut that at the end. I'll show you get the string out of there. You're going to take cardboard straight. Hold it in place. Now this part. Put the tape on the cotton, go around one time, and flip it. Make sure the tape is, the sticky side is outward now. This. We're trying to do a real quick video, unedited, just to, for all the new first time Doberman owners out there. We've been through every type of posting there is. And then a couple other tips is, the sooner you get your dog posted, the better. She was up, uh, or cropped. She had her ears cropped at seven weeks, so she is 18 weeks now. We take this pack and foam, take a one inch piece, cut it in half, put about an inch up on the applicator. And once again, take your tape, backwards, sticky side out. And we're gonna take this up and I'll show you what that's for in a minute. The shorter you crop your dog's ears, the less amount of time you're gonna have to post them. She has a long crop, as you can see, full crop. So some people, and she got done at seven weeks, and they're almost sticking up by themselves now, so we'll probably have a couple more weeks left. See how that bulge is sticking out? All right, sticky side out. Now this is the hard part. Get your dog when they're nice and sleepy. You notice I have all my tape cut and pre-ready to go. And we're using the Johnson & Johnson tape because this is breathable tape. It's, uh, it's almost like gauze. You can uh, see through it and it breathes really easy. And the least amount of tape you want to use as possible. You don't want to put three layers of tape on your dog's ears. And the longer you post, it should get easier towards the end. Ava, are you going to wake up for us? Come here, baby girl. Let's show everyone your ears. There she is. She's beautiful. She is a European Doberman, 18 weeks old. You stick this all the way down. Make sure you get all the way down. Oh, you're going to act bad now. Stretch your ear nice and tight to the tip. She's going to act bad because we're on camera. You put this piece that we cut towards the front. Hold it up. Now, this is very important. Do not tape tightly. Whatever you do, do not pull tight on the tape. Loose is better. You'd rather have it too loose. All you're doing is supporting the ear. You start at the bottom. And the reason for that is you don't want any pockets. So you get this first piece started. Just real loose. Make sure the ear is stretched tight to the top. Or stretched up. We're trying to get no pockets in there. Now we'll go in the middle. This ain't gonna be our prettiest job, but this is gonna be thorough. And I'll show you what we do when we get done. Keep it nice and loose, and I'll get that tip. I know that's not pretty, I'll do better on the next one least amount of tape as possible nice and loose and then you just press down and it'll stick to it as you see I cut this uh, applicator a little short but that shouldn't be a problem right there come on Ava flip over baby girl let's do your other one same thing sticky side the little bump to the front pull the ear upward start at the bottom from the front to the back, you want to get this little flap right here pulled inward so you don't have a pocket. I 
like I said, we should only have a few weeks left. Her ears are standing pretty good by herself. So let's see. Front to the back. Do not go tight. This is not our best job, but I was trying to do it unedited for this video. But all we're doing is just supporting them. I don't need this whole piece. Nice and loose. And then you lightly press down. And if you're still bridging, I recommend using just like a drinking straw or something for the bridge. Nothing hard. We used chopsticks before and they could get hurt on them. So something soft that could bend if need be. And put a little extra piece. As you can see this tape, you can see through it and it breathes really well. We post every five days. Make sure you write it on your calendar so you don't forget. And you just lightly press down, real loose, and then just let it press. And then we're gonna give her two little slits right here, just for discomfort. Be very careful. This is really like kind of good. One right here. It's not about being the best looking, it's just about getting the job done. Like I said, we post every five days and make sure you wash out really well, clean them with alcohol. You can get all these products on uh, Amazon. Like I said, this is the tampon method right here we're using. And you can see we had a lot of Dobermans and we posted ears before we had floppy and cropped. And this is the best method we've come up with and the least expensive. Alright, Ava, you can show your ears now. Here's Ava, with your ears posted now. This will work for five days. If it rains or they get wet, take them off and make sure you redo them. And, you can say hello? If you're still bridging, you want to bridge. We start it off, keep them straight up, because when she's alert, she wants her ears up. And then they naturally want to be about two to 10 and then she can make them go back. She has a good muscle control of her ears right now. That's our video, just a quick one to give you a 101 on ear posting. Thank you, very there's Manny. He's lucky he still has his naturals. All right, I hope that helps you out. Thank you.